Hello everyone and welcome back to All Things Pico. If you are following my channel and especially if you are watching my game reviews then you know that uh, holding my boat controllers in my hands means only one thing and yes we will be gaming in this one. So let me show you which game it is. I will open the Pico store first. So the game is called Gadgeteer. Uh, I will read this description. Gadgeteer is a physics based uh, VR puzzle game where you build chain reaction machines to solve fun intricate puzzles. Your machines will use gadgets to launch, bump, twist and turn, creating chain reactions that may even end up tearing apart the fabric of space time. So it sounds like fun. Uh, here we have some screenshots, although I will be playing the game in a bit, but, but just so that you know what to expect. Uh, the screenshots look cool and in additional details we see that the game is in casual education and puzzle genres. It was actually released yesterday, version is 1.1.3. Space required is about 550 megabytes, developer is Metanaut Labs and in release notes we have some added things like this puzzle designer, new household gadgets, uh, new musical gadgets and this new sandbox environment. I'll be showing all of that in the game. So without further ado, let's just open the game. I've started the game once already and uh, played through the tutorial level, but I'll explain everything. So here we are in the main menu already. Uh, here is the tutorial I just mentioned and all the stuff you see on the table uh, can actually be interacted with. So I'll be showing that in a moment. Uh, I just want to first show you how you can move through space. So you use uh, your controllers or these gadgets. Uh, the right one is cool. This is like some uh, pliers, I think. Is that the right word? Uh, so uh, let me show you if you press and hold your uh, grab button and uh, move your controller forwards and backwards. Then you move in these directions and also applies to left and right like this. And you can do this with both contro controllers and uh, now where it uh, gets interesting when you use your grab button in combination with the thumbsticks. Uh, for example, for the left thumbstick, when you move it uh, up and down, you get this uh, smooth uh, locomotion. And uh, also goes for the left and right. And when you use your right thumbstick with the uh, grab button, then pushing your thumbstick uh, uh, up and down will actually change the height level like this and pushing it uh, left and right will give you the click turning so you decide uh, what is uh, best for you and you can even uh, move through space like this You're just pulling and pushing out of the space so to speak and uh, you can even uh, do this with your controllers moves like this to rotate easier and uh, faster but uh, to be honest that uh, gives me a little bit of uh, motion sickness uh, I will show you how you can uh, make your life easier with that. Uh, if I pull up the menu with uh, trigger button of my left control controller, then I get this gameplay and system settings. And here we have vignette option, which is uh, actually on by default. So I will put it back to on. And you can swap hands and change music and sound effect uh, levels, uh, languages, and uh, this menu is actually more refined than I uh, get into the actual game, so I will show it later. And uh, yeah, let me show you now. Uh, uh, if I get closer to this, 
and I just love these games when you get so close to the objects and uh, uh, and the interaction is really super impressive and look when, what I can do I can pull, pull up this domino and uh, interact with the second one and trigger this domino fall and this ball is now going through these rails and I can pick up everything even the rails themselves I can uh, take apart everything I can even uh, pick up this ball and uh, put it in the cup and pick up the cup and uh, turn it upside down so yes yeah, just about anything you want you can do and I just love this uh, level of interactivity and you can also do with these two the same things and uh, I want to show you now this uh, sandbox I will just show you one of uh, those uh, because I tend to have my first videos uh, 10 or 15 minutes at most uh, so I will for sure do some follow-up videos which, which show more of the game but before I do that uh, just let me say to smash that like button if you enjoy the content that I'm creating and also I would appreciate it if you could uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't so thanks a lot now let's push this button and let me show you this predefined level by the way it's one cool environment so uh, uh, of course you can start from scratch but as I said I don't have much time in this video to put all these objects uh, around so I will just trigger this box this is like start of the level and you will see all these dominoes at play so uh, I will trigger it with my left thumbstick like this and now you see dominoes falling down it's really cool look at them and now this ball will go down and this tennis ball will go in that position and this is like the end of the level and again you can interact with uh, anything tennis ball also and um, this uh, right gadget can be actually extended this is the uh, default one but you have three more this is uh, like some vacuum cleaner so you can delete anything uh, that you don't want on the table and you have this one for changing the color so I can pick like red and make this ball red and then this is the clone tool I can make two balls or three it's really cool and I can grab the ball and throw it there if I want so as you see you can interact in many different ways and uh, it's not uh, just these uh, dominoes that you can uh, put all, ar all around if I bring up this uh, um, menu where we were before I was showing you these options now you see these uh, more icons on the right so uh, here we have some more levels predefined levels so many of them uh, this puzzle designer I haven't played much with that but on these three tabs you will see many parts which you can uh, uh, put down on the table like ping pong balls and rubber balls and cubes and whatnot and you have basketball ball uh, even the vegetables and whatnot and all these parts are uh, producing some music so if I for example put this 
part down, you heard the sound and uh, any other uh, object falls on that F, then you will hear the sound. So you can even make the level switch produce some music. And you have all the snares and uh, what not. <laughs> so uh, really only the imagination is uh, your limitation. Uh, now uh, let me show you if I go back to the main menu uh, here is where the actual puzzle levels are uh, there are many of them and I've played first three of them so you see this cube we have one here here this is the third one and fourth one so the first one was very easy uh, this uh, were actually the uh, domino position i i uh, played with uh, before and i can replay it to show you what is the point so this is the starting point uh, this uh, first domino gets pushed to the second and you must uh, uh, you must uh, somehow get to this next box which has this button and this button must be triggered with the list piece so let me just show you if i replay it like that and you see that bu button was pushed and you are at level two and now what i did at level two i followed this path and if i re replay it it actually didn't uh, replay like last time so i will just tweak it a bit so you see uh, sometimes when you uh, put your pieces uh, and uh, they actually work next time uh, uh, they might not so that's actually cool and not a <laughs> bug for me so let's see it still nothing I think this book is is uh, preventing it from falling down so I'll try to tweak it a bit more like this still not maybe this come on it's, it's stubborn Finally something, but I will show you uh, if I bring up the menu, I have two more of these pieces and 11 of these. So I will just put one more here. By the way, it can be done by many different ways and there you go. And now I'm at third the second time it works and then I went to the fourth uh, this way now let's see if it works again yes it works and you see we have many boxes so two here two here many of them there and uh, it's not only this room but we have the next room with many more boxes lying around and uh, there behind this yellow curtain is another room with more boxes so uh, yeah you can squeeze many hours from this uh, game the replayability is also very high so uh, if you uh, like to push those uh, uh, brain muscles like me then you will like this game uh, for all of you who likes that, I really recommend it. Uh, I haven't commented on the price in the, inside the Pico store, but uh, it's priced at uh, tw 20 bucks. 
and I think it's reasonably priced for this amount of content so I very much recommend it uh, let me go back to the menu so yeah this was review as I said I will be making follow-up uh, reviews uh, for sure so uh, thanks for watching and uh, also thanks for stopping by and see you in the next one give me that hammer I'm the Thor god of thunder <laughs>